What's up everybody? Welcome back. I know it's been a little while. Kind of hurt my back when I did that last video with the boater, lifting it up and putting that thing in. So I ain't really made videos much here lately. So yeah, my back's been kind of bothering me, but it's all good. I feel better now. We're up here on the lake and the lake is way down. I'm gonna turn the camera around here in a second. I got the boat putting in I'm way at the bottom of the ramp. Actually, I'm past the ramp. I'm on the rocks past the ramp. Um, I don't think I could have got any on the boat. Actually, I know I couldn't. I come up here a couple of days ago with a bigger boat, and I was like, man, I can't get it in here. So I got the little boat in here. That's why I kept the little boat for little situations like this so far. I forgot my rope, so thank goodness I got another rope, but I don't know if it's going to be long enough. Man, this water's down. Let's get in the lake, guys. Let's go fish. Current situation. I'm in the water. Yeah, we're past the ramp. I mean, the lake is significantly down. So this should be interesting. One cool thing is, is there's not gonna be a lot of boats. I got here in another bigger boat and they were like, oh, I can, they couldn't get in here. And this is the only ramp you can get in. The other ramps are too low. So let's get in here and see if we can't catch some fish. Maybe these fish have had a nice little break while a lot of people are hitting them. Maybe I might get on to something today. I don't know, the water feels pretty cool, but feeling good. Like I should, we're still up here. Well, we're still up here. I'm glad we're still here. I ain't even started the video yet. But we're walking down. Man, that water is down. I want to show you guys how down it is. I guess it's, it looks further down than it was when, at the first of spring, when I camped. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's way down. Man, that was down. I was like, oh, my goodness. This might be a good thing, though. It's been a while since they dropped this. It's been a over a week, maybe two weeks. So, um, there ain't been a lot of boats in here. You know, you gotta be have a pretty low drafted boat to put it in here. No big bass boats, small aluminum boats. I couldn't get my other aluminum boat, and it drafts pretty small. But this one, bingo, that's the money right there. I was able to get it in here, no problem. All right, guys, let's get on the water. I forgot my camera to go in the back. That's an unfortunate event because I like having that camera back here. It adds another element, but we'll be fine. We still got the chest camera. I'm going to just try to catch some fish today, guys. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to try to catch a fish today. That's the game plan. Maybe try, I'm going to try to target bass, but I just got to get a video up too, you know, so I'm going to try to catch some, just whatever. If I catch gills, I'll be happy. I'm actually want to go fishing real bad because I ain't been in a while. And I like getting out and being up here. Dang, I don't have my pole in here either. I just realized that. I left my um, push pole. Everything's in the other boat. Switch down. I don't even have my micro anchor on here. I'm going to get another attachment for this boat so I can switch it back and forth. Because I'm going to miss that too right now. But we're bare bones, guys. Let's just get on the water. We can get some fish. All right, guys. Let's go. Hopefully, I can push this thing off. Man, it's shallow over there. All right, guys. So, we... um. We're just going to go out and see what we can do. It's warm today, though. It's supposed to be like 74, so right now it's warm out here. I'm kind of just enjoying sitting here, but it's time to go. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to take my jacket off because I'm hot in this jacket, but I'm just looking around. Sometimes you just sit out here and just look around and see if you see anything lurking, but right there's something lurking. All right, guys, let's go for the 14th time. I keep saying, let's go fishing, and I don't do it, but we're going now. I'm just looking around. Let's get going. Ooh, sputter step. She cranked up one pull though. That motor, man. I've had this motor for two years, over two years. She's still purring like a kitten. She sounds rougher because I have her, I have to lean it so far back due to the size of this boat. You know, if I don't, it'll, it'll porpoise. If I had a I need to put a little jack plate on this boat. We'll make this boat ride a lot better. So I have to put the motor back pretty far to keep it from porpoising due to there being my big butt in the back, you know, and no weight in the front. It wants to bounce if I don't. Man, look at this lake. It looks so down. It looks so down. I kind of want to fish through here, but I have a feeling like a lot of kayakers, but I mean, you never know.
there's this big one. Ah, oh, he's pretty nice. He's not super big. He's not bad. He's not as big as I thought he was when he come up and hit it, but he's still pretty nice. A nice spot. Very nice spot. All right, guys, we're kind of figuring some stuff out. I'm throwing this little swim bit. I'll talk about it in a second. Look at that. Nice spot of bass. Mean spot. Beautiful. He come from way down deep. That's kind of letting me know something was sitting out here. A little bit more. I'm fishing this thing a little deeper. Man, look at that beautiful spot. Beautiful, thick, healthy spot. Let's let him go. We'll see you later, bud. Nice fish. All right, guys. Well, we got a spot. Throw in that swim bait. We're going to talk about that swim bait for a second. And, uh, yeah, guys, we got a fish. I'm pretty happy about that. He was really deep. I seen him come up. He looked huge when he came up, but we got a fish. All right, guys, I had to switch over. I realized looking for these, I have no more of this color. It's in my bag at home that I forgot. But we're throwing these minnows. These. This is easy money, the color. And the jig head is a new jig head I'm trying out from Z-Man. That is a, um, they're called finesse eyes is what they are. And I'm using the 3 16th ounce. The three packs for like four, three or four bucks. They're not too bad. But they go super well with these minnow z's which is made by z-man as well and if you've never thrown z-man swim baits i'm not sponsored by these guys by any means but i do love them very much for one they look different than all the contact style ones that everyone else is throwing these days but they're also elastic and they last forever in the spring when i'm catching tons of big white bass i can throw one of these all day and they can't tear it up so i should be all right as long as i don't lose it but I got hit earlier, and it kept me fishing it. And that's a snag. <laughs> so I, I seen a fish come up and hit it earlier, so that's kept me throwing it. And after just getting that bass, that's put some confidence on me with this critter for today. There's something. I think it was a perch or a nice little bass. I seen him come up and grab it. I hit him. I hit him for a second. That was a decent fish. That was a decent fish. Because I had something decent grab that. I mean, it was decent. I mean, it was a good sized little fish. I've seen it. There's one. That's a bass. He's right there in front of me. There he is. I can't do it. I got in the head. I got to keep him on. That was funny. I see no way. He just cruised up. I just got him to hit it. Dang it. He just, there he goes up to there. He just stood there and looked. There's the other bait. Him. He's so cute. He's like a little fuzzball. Well, darn it, guys. I changed up my battery and I forgot to hit 
the power button. We caught another one on the swim bait. Been running around for a little bit. Found a cool spot over here. Caught another one. Darn it. It's the worst part of being a YouTuber. It's when you do something cool and you don't got it on camera. Do right in here. He's just sitting up here. Bow. Hit him. I've been fishing for a little bit. I ain't been getting nothing. So I ran to the other side of the lake and about three casts in, it paid off. It's just unfortunate that I didn't, uh, wasn't recording, of course. I've been fishing for two hours plus since that first bite of the day. I bought. But I was thinking of this place over here. I thought I might be able to catch something around here. And I did. I just wish I'd have got it on camera. Oh well. It is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now. Got to catch another one. Fish around the outer edge of this deeper hole. See if I can catch another spot. That's unfortunate I didn't catch it on camera. So I've been working hard just to get some bass today. I left a lot of my pan fish like I don't quite have stuff that I need. It works good right now. But... I got a swim bait. Swim baits work pretty good. Sometimes they're a little hit or miss, but it is catching fish very slowly. Not a lot today, but sometimes this is how it goes. Not the best video, but not a bad fishing day. You catch some fish, it's always good, I think, but it's not horrible. Pretty scenery. It's cool right in here. It's a very cool looking area. Shocked by how far the water's down. It's crazy. There's another one. That's a good one. Yeah. Skinny, but actually, he's not too bad. He's not so bad. He's not too, too bad. He is a little thin, but pretty fish. Oh, we got another fish. I'm so happy for that. It's that last bass we didn't get on film, but we got another one, guys. Nice. Swim bay is paying off today. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. I just look fishy right there. Perfect. Swim bay action is coming back. Yeah, I'm so happy to catch that fish because I've been out here for quite some time. Come over here and actually start getting some fish, man. Makes me very excited.